All right, so I'm going to have some fun here. I'm going to see what this chat with the Dior expert is really all about. I've seen this pop up before in different times that I've looked at the Macy's website. Not sure what I'm going to expect. I don't expect much at all, but we'll see. So there's my question. I'm hoping to be able to ask more questions to see what kind of knowledge they have and what kind of insight. I mean, heck, I might even learn something. Let's try it. Oh, hello, Amy. Why is that? There we go. A Dior expert at Macy's. I can just picture someone in some far-off country in a very hot, barren computer place trying to answer these questions. Now at this point, the only acceptable answer that I'll take is to make sure that I wasn't getting au sauvage confused. I think if it's anything but that, this is just a shill. Oh boy. The only difference is that the new has of a spicy to the scent. Also, it is eau de parfum and the original, oh boy. Sadly, this is turning out to be just about what I thought it was, although I'm sure before we're done, whoever this person is is going to ask if they want to order this fragrance for me on my Macy's account. That's probably the only reason these people are here. I do realize that maybe fragrances aren't the most asked about questions on here with a Dior expert or so-called expert. I love the Calabrian bergamot, as juicy and spirited as ever. Invites new spicy notes to add fullness and sensuality as the woody, ambery trail of Ambroxan, hello, there it is, is wrapped in the smoky accents of Papua New Guinean vanilla absolute for greater masculinity. So, she didn't know if Ambroxan was in there before, but now she does. Amy loves vanilla. How nice. And she loves the Calabrian bergamot. Ah, he had to do. So asking right now, what is the reason for the price jump compared to the original? I'm hoping she say a higher concentration of fragrance oils. Ah, there we go. Well, let's get a little bit interesting here. The difference between a parfum and an eau de toilette should be somewhat easy for anyone in the beauty industry to answer. She kind of answered it there. That's a good answer, actually. So, either she's doing some good researching. Okay, she says I can ask her about her favorite. Oh, there she goes. Oh, 
God. I've lost all respect for her. Dear God, Dior Omo. Ugh. I will say that's either got to be pulling a rabbit out of the hat or it's an informed answer because not the answer I was expecting. Oh, God. Dior Omo. Interesting. Okay, well, that was pretty good. Oh, okay, there we go. Eau de Toilette is a lightweight fragrance, less oils, not long-lasting, four to six hours. The Intense is a parfum, so more oils, very long-lasting, all day until wash-off. <sighs> Considering most of their designer fragrances are Eau de Toilette, I'm not sure they want them to be listed as not long-lasting. Eh. Generic. But not much else to expect. There it is. Now that is, I'm sure, what this whole Ask an Expert is about. Just trying to make sure you place an order. It would be nice if she would just send me off with good wishes. But if she tries to do the hard sell here, I might be a little bit upset. I think next time I should change my email address, too, because I'm sure she's doing research. Oh, very nice. Okay. All right, so there that was. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs>